He said, so that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us. And notice who us is. Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Now, notice this. Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Why? Because if you walk after the spirit, he's never going to lead you to sin. He's going to lead you to love. Amen? Now, verse 5. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. Now, notice this is an either or. Isn't that right? It's not both. It's either or. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Now, notice that also means that to be carnally minded is not peace. So if you're not living in peace, it is probably because you're more carnally minded. Okay? Because the carnal mind, verse 7, is enmity or hostile against God. For it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. Now let's just stop there for a second. Notice, the carnal mind is at war. It's hostile toward God, against God. Why? Why? Because it is not subject to the law of God. Now, do you hear that? So if something is not subject to the law of God, it is hostile against God. Do do you get that? So people that hate the law hate God. Do you understand that? Now, I'm not saying that we're all going to start going, you know, having a checklist. I'm not. Please understand that. And this is the hardest thing to really explain in all. Because what it is is that by his spirit, the spirit that was in Christ Jesus dwells in you. That spirit in him is what empowered him to live above sin and to do the will of God. That same spirit is in you. So he can empower you based on how much you yield to him and follow him and mind the things of the spirit that is in you. As you do that, he can empower you to fulfill the will of God. And fulfilling the will of God means walking according to the law of God. It means doing what the law was trying to get across to everybody. All right? Now, when God said, thou shalt not steal, he wasn't as interested in you not stealing as he was the nature in you that would make you want to steal. Because if he can change that nature in you, See, you're never tempted to do something you don't like doing. So if he can change your nature and make you like the things that he likes, then you can do the things he likes and you won't do the things he doesn't like. Why? Because you have his nature. This is where most Christians, I hate to say it this way, where they fall short. Why? It's because, number one, they've been taught, well, you got to sin a little bit every day because nobody's perfect. I mean... God forbid you would stop sinning altogether because you might think you're Jesus, right? (laughs) We can't deal with you as a self-righteous person. We sure don't want to deal with a perfect self-righteous person. Amen? 